And again, it's still early on. And what we need, I was telling the team, yeah. what we need now is more case studies. We need people who are saying, yes, I have experienced Baraka culture and it's making a difference. Because right now it still mm, might be theoretical, mm. be framework. That's why I'm interested to work with organizations, with companies, entrepreneurs. Well, how do you live Baraka culture? What does it look like? And what are the decisions nice, you nice, make on a nice. day-to-day basis? And bring that to life. Because the moment people say, oh, if someone else can do it, then yes. Because right now we're blind about hustle culture because hustle culture looks so successful. When we look at, oh my God, look at, you know, so-and-so, they started this right, company right. at 19 years old, look at the billionaires right now. So we look at hustle culture, it looks so successful yes. that it, in a way, part of us think, well, you know, is that what you actually want out of life? And we're questioning everything that, that hustle culture stands for. And people don't like it, by the way, but that's, that's <laughs> part of the challenge because this is what Islam came, Islam came to liberate people right islam came to liberate people from worshiping i you know false gods sometimes the false gods could be money mm-hmm. false gods could be continuous growth if false gods could be hustle culture the false god could be this you know fake image of oh look at me i have you know i'm doing meditation with an app at two in the morning and then i go in the gym at four in the morning and then i do this stuff i'm like i'm like is that even real yeah. and let's fast forward to 50 yeah. 60 70 years from now Will you be saying the same yeah, things? Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, it's 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 unrealistic, and I feel like as right, as, right. as as the as a community has the last divine message to mankind. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given Muslims the last divine message to mankind through the Quran, through the Sunnah of the Prophet We have a responsibility to tell people uh, the way we're living is not working. And guess what? This global pandemic that happened that is, this is the prime time to talk about this yes. stuff because. Yes. People are not realizing right. all the hustling was for what? What's the crazy yep. hustling for? And like, wait a second. So Allah Subhanahu had to send a massive, you know, a virus this small, yeah. this small to kind of slow us down from hustling. And hopefully, inshallah, I discover a different way of living. We hope that will be better culture, inshallah. <laughs>